Hey everybody, I wanted to do a really quick video today about something that I found that I thought was really handy and pretty cool, so I want to show you guys it too. So, just to uh, give you some framework, give you some setup right here, I have an extremely simple project right here. If I hit play, we have testing and we can add uh, points to our score. Pretty simple. Now, one of the things that I came across that I had questions about before was if I wanted to invoke a method after a certain amount of time, how could I do that? And the general answer that I had before was, well, start a coroutine. And coroutines aren't bad, but it's a lot of code. It's a lot of, um, it's a big chunk of code to write out here. So there's an easier way to go about it. So here's my script. This is what you just saw there. This um, method right here connects to the button, and we increase the score every time the button is pressed. What I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to extract this out to a different function. Which is a little a little weird right now because everything we're doing is so small. Just for example, it's probably going to result in a little more code, but you know, it's just a demo here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and copy to the clipboard control X. And I'm going to make a new method here. I'm going to say public void. And we're going to say delayed add points. And I'm going to paste this back in here. So now what I want to do is I want to call this function from here. Delayed add points. So now we have the functionality that we had when we started the, the video here, okay? Same as before here. But we're still not delaying it at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say invoke, and we're going to invoke name of, I'm going to say delayed add points. I'm sorry, no method call right there, so no parentheses. And we're going to give it a amount of time they want to wait here. Let's wait one second, 1.0f, one 0f, zero zero and then semicolon. And then we can get rid of this from here. And did I do something wrong there? Name of what I do wrong there. Oh, I'm sorry. This needs to be outside of here. Point zero, zero F. There we go, cool. Now if I save this and I go back to the game. And I hit play. Now we should see after one second when I press the button, that's when it should add the point. So not immediately, but after one second. Button, one Mississippi, right? Button, one Mississippi, adds. Um, so it's a good way to kind of go about it without having to out, uh, write out a whole uh, start cover team method and, and function. Um, why would this be useful? Maybe at the end of the round, you want to give a player a second or two just to kind of collect their thoughts and reset before the next round starts. Or maybe after a point is scored or something like that, you want to give it a second, a little bit of grace period before that's added in. All right, if you guys enjoyed, if you guys learned something, be sure to uh, drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. And again, that's invoke, name of, and then you put your function right there, followed by the, the amount of time that you want to wait there. All right. Um, other than that, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a comment down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.